Yeah, I want to talk to you about this. Nike, Jake Let's Crane. Let's get into this. Um, bring up a Nike commercial. Let's say the Derek Jeter one, when Derek Jeter re retired. Nike had some really great commercials when we were growing up. This is like right? where we've been and then where we are. Let's watch this Derek Jeter one together. Let's do it. Number two, Derek Jeter. Number two. John Lester tipping his cap. Respect, man. Respect. What a great, what a great commercial for a Hall of Fame player. It was awesome. It was, and I mean, this is this is what sports embodies. Yeah. I mean, you in, you embody the town. Your your town takes on the identity of your team. That's why this is so so scary. But you talk about, you know, we hear the word inclusion and stuff and, mm -hmm. and stuff like this. When you watch a commercial like that, because if you're a sports fan, you know typically you're a fan of somewhere that you're from. So you identify your team with, with, with your home. And that commercial encapsulated that perfectly. Yeah. But the crazy thing about Derek Jeter is, I think he even transcended New York. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it was just a mutual respect thing from everybody around the league for doing things the right way. And those are all males competing against I've them. never liked the Yankees, but I've always loved Derek Jeter. Yeah. So let's go a little farther back. We're talking about Tiger Woods and yeah. the Masters this week. Let's let's bring up one of those old school Tiger Woods commercials that we all tried to imitate on the driving range. Don't pretend one. like you didn't. Play this one. This is so impressive. I mean, Tiger's hand-eye coordination is just alien level. I wonder how many takes it took him to do this. How much do I bet it was one? How much do I bet it's the first take? Take me four years to figure out how to do that and then stop it on the club. And as if that weren't enough. Yeah. Here, let me launch it. Let me launch it. That is course. just. Great. There you go. Nike golf. You remember Let's those? go play some golf. Everyone was doing that on the drive. Yes, yes. But yes. Jake, this is, this is, we're dinosaurs. That's a long time ago. It's 2023. Bring up, bring up uh, Nike's new partnership. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Dylan no. Mulvaney. Have you seen this Not one? This guy. Check this one out. 2023 Nike. Please play this. Oh my God. You know, the, the saddest part about this whole thing, other than that's a guy that's wearing women's clothes, is like, look how stupid they make women look. I don't know any women look at that, that Dude, act that's, like that. That's a, that's a horror movie. One day, one day, Dylan Mulvaney is going to come out and have a press conference. And say, I was trolling. And he's going to say, gotcha. Yep. And it's going to be the greatest troll. If there's a woman that is not offended by that, like, how can you not be? How can you not be offended by that? I don't get it. If you somebody did that, uh, you know, and it is a man, but like, look how stupid. Play it again. Who acts like this? Who acts like this? They didn't even try and be inspirational. Now they're just making fun of you to their, your face. This, this, this commercial should say, hey, guess what, women? We know you're stupid, but here's some tight clothes. That's what the, the commercial is to me. It's embarrassing. It's Nike. embarrassing. And I'm going to have to explain this to my children one day about what happened in early 2020. This happened. That is, that we is went from Derek Jeter and Tiger Woods to Dylan Mulvaney putting on yoga pants and acting like a complete idiot pretending to be a woman. Shame on everybody that's involved in this. Nike. And now oh. you're hearing Anheuser-Busch, that some of the guys are upset. Did you see that? Who? The, about the Dylan Mulvaney thing, that they didn't know that that was going on the can and all this stuff? Hmm. Oh, look, what, they're, what back pedal, they're back pedaling like Sauce Gardner in cover three. It's unbelievable. What, this, there will be such a huge back pedal. Now look, it's Nike. They They don't care about child slave labor. Like, they, they, it's who cares? Like, to them, this means nothing. But in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of things, like, how is this not making fun of somebody? Mm. I, I just, I don't even have any words, Jake. Yeah, like Nike, Nike. I, I, I Nike. understand. Now, I'm not shocked now. But uh, just think about the old school Nike. Just, it's awful. Hey, you two, do us a favor real quick. Turn on that notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and hit that like button when you watch the video. It's the right thing to do.